this screencast, I'm going to demonstrate the use of a polymath software to determine kinetic parameters using linear regression. And so we have kinetic data. It's measured in a differential plug flow reactor, and I show rate as a function of concentration of A and B. And what we're looking at is reaction of A plus B goes to C plus D. And we want to fit the kinetic data, so minus the rate of A, and we'll call that R as K, C, A to some power, concentration B to some power. And we're interested in determining the three parameters using linear regression. So the way we do that in this case is to take the log of both sides. So we have the log of the rate, the log of K plus N times the log of C, A plus N times the log of CB. So this is the form we want to enter into polymath to solve for these parameters. So now we're going to go and look at the polymath program to see how we do that. So here's the polymath program. I'm going to select regression. And then I copied all the data from a spreadsheet. So I'm going to just paste it in here to save time. And this behaves very much like a spreadsheet. And then what I want to do is label the columns so that I can use them in, in the regression. So the first column is the rate of reaction. And the second column, if I click on the heading, CO2, and I now change this to the concentration of A. And I'm going to do the same thing for the third column. Now, in order to do multiple linear regressions on the right side here, I'm selecting the middle, multiple linear regression. In order to carry that out, I need to have the values for the log of the rate and the log of the concentration. So fourth column, I'm going to put an equal sign in the first row and make this the log of first column, which is R, the rate, and it fills in the entire column. Well, I can do the same thing for the log of the concentration of A and the log of concentration of B. I'm going to pause and do that. And now I'm going to also label the column headings in order to be able to use them in the multiple linear regression calculations. I need those labels. So again, let me pause and do that. So now that I have the values and the columns, multiple linear regression, my dependent variable is the log of the rate. And my two independent variables, so in order to select two of them, I'll use control and then select. And I selected log of CA and log of CB. So now I'm almost finished. To get the output, I select this purple arrow. To do that, I'd like to also have a graph output, and I'd like to have a plot of the residuals. And so now we're ready to go. I hit Calculate, and let's look at one aspect at a time. So here is the value for A0, A1, and A2. A0 is a log of the rate constant. A1 is the order respect to concentration of A. A2 is the order respect to concentration of 2. We can see the confidence limits are small relative to the value of the variable, indicating it's a good fit. The statistics on R squared, 0.99937. Variance is small. And then it gives the data points. So it shows the values of the calculated ones and the difference, the residuals. If we calculate the run number, remember this is how many times this last column changes signs. So it's minus, that's a 1, plus 2, minus a 3, plus 4, and then there's negative for all 5, and then plus 6. So that indicates also a good fit as explained in other screencasts. Let me close that plot here shows the fit to the data. You can see it looks very good. The plot here, residuals, that does not seem to be a pattern. As indeed our run number indicated. So again, 
indicating that we have a good fit. So you can see you can very quickly do a multiple linear regression to get kinetic parameters using polymath.